What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And real quick, before we get started, I just wanted to say a special salute and shout out to all of the OG Star Wars fans that's coming to this Rotten Tomatoes site, right? That's coming over here to Rotten Tomatoes, and they giving this thing the blues. Oh, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. They giving this shit show everything it deserves. Every last bit of it, okay? Because, look, right now, the Acolyte is sitting at 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. Earlier today, it was like in the 20s. But yeah, as we close the day out, now we sitting at 18%, man. I've been like refreshing this thing all day. Like I'm, it's, it's almost like I'm watching a game, man. It's like I'm coming in. Hey, what's the score? Hey, did they score again? Oh, we down to 19%? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been watching this shit all day, refreshing it, just seeing what it is, you know? So yeah, thank you, everybody. Shout out to the bomb squad. All right. I see you fellas. Good work. Good work. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about review bombing because there's review boosting as well. OK, I don't want to hear shit. And look, the bombers are winning. The bombers are winning because straight up, you can't uh, review bomb a good show. If its show is good, it's good. And no matter how much you may hate for whatever reason you hate it, you come and try to review bomb a good show. You're never going to have the effect on it. OK, you'll never have the effect on it. It somehow is still going to manage to be solid. You know, like Andor, a lot of people with Andor, they didn't really rock with Andor at first, but they couldn't review bomb it because it is a good show. Whether you think it's Star Wars or not, whether you think it's the best thing that ever happened or not, it's still a quality show, good show, and you can't review bomb that type of stuff. It just doesn't work that way. Yeah, uh, Andor is at 86%. I don't care if you came in and tried to review bomb the shit out of this. It's going to be way more positives than negatives. It's just the way it works. OK, so the fact that this thing is sitting here at 18 percent, holy crap, 18 percent, 18 percent. This is historic. All right. Y'all are making history right now. Y'all are making history. And I love every single piece of it because these assholes over here at Lucasfilm, they needed to be taught this lesson. They needed to see how much the fans hate their asses. All right. We hate what you're doing to Star Wars and we're not holding back no more. We coming out, it, especially on this show. It's because of these uh, three chicks right here, right? <laughs> these three women you see on the screen, uh, uh, Leslie, Davina, and Kathleen. They're the ones fucking up the franchise. But who gets the blame? The fans get the blame, all right? Uh, the media blames the fans for ruining Star Wars, not the people at Lucasfilm pushing queer feminist agendas, which is all you see in the Acolyte right now. Just one big, gigantic lesbian orgy of garbage. That's basically what this whole show is. And it's like, wait a minute, time out. How are the fans responsible for that shit? The fans ain't responsible for that. The fans are just calling it like we see it. We're just calling this crap out. That's basically all we're doing. We are calling it out and saying, nope, 18%. All right. These are rookie numbers, man. Again, we could get these joints down into the single digits. I mean, straight up. You know, but yo, no, 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 no. It's the fans, right? It's the fans. Like, the fans ain't made one movie. The fans haven't produced one television show. How in the hell are the fans responsible for this shit? Like, how are the fans to blame for this? Y'all are crazy. The media is so much in the pocket of Lucasfilm. It's just ridiculous, man. That's like why Kathleen feel like she could get away with saying this shit, right? Oh, you know, the women uh, in Star Wars struggle with fan attacks because of the fan base being so male dominated, right? No, she not. they're not struggling with fan attacks because they're giving them shitty characters to play. Terrible characters like Rey. No, 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 no. That's not the reason why, you know, the, the fans are against these. No, it's because of the male domination. It's too many males. All right. Down with the patriarchy. That's basically what Kathleen is saying. All right. That's why this chick has no business being the boss over at Lucasfilm, because she can't take the blame. She can't take the rap. She will never take the rap for what's going on over here at Star Wars. Never. Right. It's like um, it's like that character. What is the name? Uh, I forget his name, but from uh, Jack Nicholson from Good As It Gets. You remember that? They say, how do you write a woman? I think of a man and I take away reason and accountability. This chick will not be accountable for this shit. She will not be accountable. It's literally what this dude is saying. Like, this is what she is. She is a, she's just passing the buck. She's passing the blame. This is the president of Lucasfilm trying to blame the male domination of the, the men, trying to blame the men who built this franchise into what it is. She's trying to blame them for, you know, the fact that women are getting attacked and they're not even getting attacked. We're attacking the characters. We're attacking the garbage characters that you feminists keep putting in to this male dominated franchise. What did you expect? You expected feminism to play really well with men. All right. Again, take away reason. All right. 
This chick is a bonehead. She doesn't know what she's doing. And yeah, here's your coup de grace. Here is your greatest accomplishment. All right. You have ran Star Wars into this right here. All right. This is what all of your all of your feminism has brought you. What is an, another quote? Uh, Anton Shagur. If the rule you follow has brought you to this of what use was the rule? You need to go back and get to George. All right. We need to come to George moment. All right. We need to come to Lucas moment. We need to go back and talk to George. George said, y'all don't understand Star Wars. Y'all don't understand the franchise. Y'all don't understand the force. Now you got dancing witches and all of this other silly shit. All right. This other silly, weak, woke garbage. This is what you giving the fans and you surprised at 18%. Again, it, it, this shit is too high. It needs to be in the single digits. All right. That's what it is, man, because look, they don't give a damn. They don't care if they lose money. It's not about money. It's about sending the message. Well, it's about sending the message now, too. All right. It's about sending a message and say, all right, we ain't playing this shit no more. You guys have taken one of the world's greatest franchises and you have ran that right down the shitter. And no, no, no. It's not going down like that no more. Sorry. Sorry. So, yeah, we need to let these three chicks here. All right. We need to let them have it. And then listen, man. Go out there and, and, and just voice your displeasure. Any place you want to. It doesn't even have to be on Rotten Tomatoes because I think like pretty much everywhere this thing is getting killed. Yeah, like just with Google. Like if you Google the Acolyte review, this shit's sitting at a 1.6. You know, a 1.6 got about 4,000 ratings. And it's sitting at a 1.6. And then if you go to IMDB, it's sitting at a 3.9 out of 10, which is pretty high if you ask me. All right. Pretty high if you ask me, but yeah, dominated by the one star ratings, you know, and then of course they got, uh, they got it unweighted. All right. Or they got it weighted. The unweighted is 3.4, but yeah, this thing is getting destroyed almost everywhere you go. And look, what's coming up at the end of the week is house of the dragon. House of the dragon is going to be such a ray of sunshine in this dark world of entertainment, man. I swear. Uh, but they already renewed for season three, you know? They have so much confidence in this thing and fans are looking forward to it. Like when you scrolling through here, man, everybody's all pumped up Yeah, the fire will burn. You know, like everybody's getting excited and stuff, man. You know, everybody is happy, man. People are pumped. You know, that's what I'm saying. Let's go. Like, that's how you're supposed to feel for a TV show, you know, in a big franchise. Let's go. Everybody's pumped, man. Everybody's excited for this. What's going on over here with the Acolyte? How's everybody feeling about the Acolyte? Man, the Acolyte is going to be like a distant memory come Sunday, man. Everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for bringing some good television back on. You know, House of the Dragon season two, man, can hardly wait. You know, and look, this is what I had said. I, I had uh, retweeted it and said all of the positive hype and fan excitement for House of the Dragon is exactly what Lucasfilm should want. Instead, they have a 20% audience score. That was 20% at the time. And memes ridiculing what was the greatest franchise ever. Shame, shame, shame. That's exactly what it is, man. They may, they should make Kathleen Kennedy take this walk. <laughs> All right. They should have Kathleen take this walk after she gets fired, man. I, I just want to hear shame, shame, shame. All the Star Wars fans lined up on both sides of the street just giving her the walk of shame. That's how it should be, man. But yeah, instead, we'll we'll take this for now, though. Okay, we'll take this 18%. Right, hold up. Let's refresh. It might have dropped. Let's see. Nah, still 18%. But anyway, folks, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. I'm absolutely loving it. It's getting exactly what it deserves. 18%, in my opinion, is too high. Too high for this garbage. But... We'll take what we can get for now, and we'll hope for better scores in the future. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.